Mimes to the left of me, comedians to the right. Here I am, stuck in the middle of a cavalry tutorial about psychedelic text. So let's create some text, shall we? That's, that should be the first thing we do, right? Probably the first thing I should do is apologize to everybody. But uh, now let's go and center the uh, horizontal alignment, vertical alignment, and uh, pick a better font, or at least a, a thicker font. Equalizes the font uh, that I'm looking for, and it's here. You could find this at thefont.com. And I want to duplicate this. So I'll select the layer, hold down Alt, and click my Duplicate button here. So I hide the original and just show this one. So I want none on the X. Well, I guess one on the X is what I want, and a lot on the Y. And I've got a bunch of swatches here. So I just went to the blue green swatch and then there was five or so. And I just picked whatever was the, the last one that they had and then made it brighter and then click and drag. And then I had fonts and I just kept doing that a bunch more times, each one getting a little bit brighter. And then I had um, all the swatches that I want. Now you could turn these into a node, which is very, very, very cool. So click on that little menu button, go to array. So now we have a color array and it matches all the colors that we, we have there. So what I could do with that is I'm going to clean things up a little bit by alt, double clicking on the text and then without alt, I'll double click on the array. So I see them both next to each other. And I click on the dot in front of the text here of the title and there's nothing to uh, connect to here. But if I mouse over the fill, for a split second, the fill section opens up and I could drop this onto my fill color. So I just release the left click button. And if you do nothing else, this is a pretty decent effect, right? And, um, but we should do something else because um, that's why we're here. So I will double click on the duplicator while holding down Alt. And so uh, we could create some pretty interesting animation just by animating the, the horizontal size. So that's something interesting just by itself. One thing that's even more interesting is um, I really like to add an effect to the um, scale. So if you right click on it, actually it's a behavior if I was technically accurate. I'll just drag down to stagger. I don't want to stagger on one dimension x or y i want to click on the name so i have both and we are staggered so if i go to now the, the size height you could see we got our perspective in life and um, that's very important to have so i think we're we're going to need to scale it down a little bit and we need to hold on alt uh, it gets kind of annoying, but you need to hold down Alt. I wish it was hold down Alt over one dimension, and uh, then you could s scale X or Y, and then uh, when you do it normally, it would scale them both at the same time. I just feel like I scale um, constrained a lot more than unconstrained, and um, I was straining to explain myself there. Hopefully that makes sense. And uh, so this looks pretty decent too. Um, so we could do, like I said, we can do stuff like um, make adjustments here. We get kind of like a pseudo 3D effect. We don't have any on the on the X, so if we adjust the the width, it doesn't do anything. But this is not bad for a simple effect, and um, so we could make this possibly more interesting. So let's see if we go to the to the rotation. And you should note the, the rotation here is different than the rotation up here. It looks similar, but this is kind of rotating the actual copies. This is rotating uh, pretty much everything. So I want to rotate, but I want to make sure I'm on the right rotation when I'm doing that. So I go over here and I right click and I go to behavior and I go to stagger. So we got, we're got we doing a lot of staggering here. It's like uh, the end of a Oktoberfest celebration and we are staggering the um, rotation and I want to 
it doesn't look like it did much, so I wanna double click on the, the rotation here. Let's set the strength up. And um, nobody likes upside down text. Well, some people might, but let's do something like that. Um, I guess if I wanted to be perfect, Type the value in. Whoops. This what was it? One thousand, seven thousand, two hundred. Okay. Yeah. So that is good. I'm gonna go to this position here and move it up a little bit. And a couple things we could do. I could add more in the count here. And that kind of kind of smooths it out. But before I do that, what I want to do is let's undo back. I want to smooth this out first by rounding some of those edges. So I go and select my original type, Alt, double click, and uh, I go to the deformers and bevel. So I've got this bevel set up pretty high. And where's the bevel right here? You can double click on it. You can reduce your radius if you want to just bevel it a little bit, round those corners a little bit, or if you want to do like what I did and bevel them a lot. And uh, I just think this, this effect looks better with this rounded text. Uh, you can also adjust your strength. If you want to do something weird, you can go into the opposite and make it a negative effect here. I don't recommend it. At least not for this effect. Okay, so this one, I, I wanna now maybe still increase the copies a little bit. And I just wanna get to a point where it's like one before that. So I get the, the text dark and then the next part of the uh, swatch is white. So I get a little contrast and you can read it somewhat better. Okay, so now um, we could animate this. Let's say 90 frames is what we're looking for. And uh, we'll adjust the, um, the stagger. Let's try the rotation first. So let's say, um, and we still haven't even messed with these other things like the, um, the minimum. And maybe there's a good reason for that. And the maximum. Actually, you know what? I, I kind of like that better. And that's just, that's just what happens when you do random stuff with this software. You get interesting things happening. Okay. Except for that. That didn't look very interesting. Um, another thing that's very nice is this graph here. I click on it we could kind of adjust how this thing is rotating uh, and yeah, I kind of like that one so something also to note is I could double click on here to add add more points so it's certain parts are rotating more than other parts and we could we can get this kind of offset effect and and you'll notice what, when I'm just moving these up and down, it, it's kind of interesting, like the, the result that you're getting. I mean, it's not, it's not amazing, but it is pretty interesting. The thing that really is amazing is you see this point here when I have it selected or this point when I have it selected. These actually have values that can be keyframed. So this is the, the position is the left and right. And the, um, the value is up and down. So you could keyframe these and I guess you could connect them somehow. I haven't even attempted or, or even thought about attempting that, but not many other programs, maybe none have at least animation programs, 2D, even 3D animation programs. A lot of them don't have options to animate your curve points, but that's not all. You see when I select the curve 
point here, I have these values. When I select the handle, it has its own values that can be animated. So um, I don't know if anybody's gonna be excited like I am about this, but to me, this is pretty, pretty big and um, very, very handy thing, very interesting, very new uh, idea. And uh, yeah, I like that I could make these interesting and I could animate these and um you know what let's let's stop talking let's let's start doing so i will uh i'm just going to animate the value just to make it simple and uh, let's go to the beginning and uh, we have our value slider here all right so i could do that i'll just do the one i could do them all but it would take a while let's see what else we can do here the uh, strength, I will keyframe that, and we'll start at the beginning with, so we got a big number here. I'm gonna set this to zero. What about uh, negative? 9,000 or 90,000, why not? All right, and um, so let's take a look at, we, we got rotation stagger, we got scale stagger. Let's see what we could do with that. So I just double clicked, on, oh, I could close this for now. I double clicked on this one, so I see the scale Let's uh, give it a keyframe. Um, I could do the same thing with the, the graph for this, which you probably would have imagined. And um, yeah, I don't like it going to the negative. Let's just start at zero. All right, I like that, and uh, like like I was talking about, you could make adjustments to this one. I'm not going to animate it because we need to probably wrap this up pretty soon. The um, another thing I do want to animate is the uh, the count. So let's let's start with um, let's start with kind of a low count. Let's see if we can get away with, I don't know, might have to change this later. And we'll bring it up pretty significantly high. And let's make this last the length of our animation. Now, um, I think I want maybe to scale up bigger. Uh, so in the in the in the shape scale, stagger shape scale, let's go in the middle. Let's just have it kind of balloon out and then settle back in. I'll hit the graph editor. Make sure I select this keyframe here. Smooth this out. Maybe have it kind of jump out in the start. And um, I think F, yeah, F is to fit your uh, your keyframe, your graph in here. And you could zoom in with the scroll wheel, but you can't zoom in only on the vertical or only on the horizontal. I wish that uh, was added, but I think the smart people at this program will um, probably add something like that. The um, this button here is turned on, so as I play this, it's going to load into RAM. And uh, yeah, so once this yellow bar gets filled up, we should be able to watch this play back in real time. Actually, maybe, maybe it didn't render the first half, but yeah, so now it's all filled in there. Okay, so yeah, it's 
pretty hard to read, but you know, we're going for the psychedelic effect, so I think we're we're allowed to get away with that. <laughs> 